I'm just going to say this now. I hate TikTok. The only good thing about it that we can all agree on is that it keeps the cringy kids off YouTube. TikTok has just always been an app I could never get into, unlike other people. There's a lot of trends I really don't get, like mainstream of music, like this generation. I'm not saying I'm born from the wrong generation, but okay. Let's be honest, listening to a bunch of people sing about how much money and having murder on their mind isn't that fire. But the mainstream music is only an example, and TikTok is basically the same thing. I could never get into this trend. So I risked my life finding some TikToks to show you in this video, and hopefully after this video is done, you will understand why I truly hate this app. Prettiest smile hides the deepest secrets. The prettiest eyes have cried the most tears, and the kindest hearts have felt the most pain. It makes me mad of how untrue this is. Your personality has nothing to do with your past depression. There could literally be someone out there that hasn't been sad once, which is kind of impossible, but it could be true that this person could not be sad, yet could still be the nicest, have the prettiest eyes, and has the kindest hearts. I heard you told your friends, and I'm just not your type. Oh my god, watch out, he's wearing a jeans jacket. How dare girls say that he's not their type, come on. To all the girls that said that he is not your type, just think of all the times he's gotten his nipples caught in the zipper of his jacket. And he was probably doing it all for you. You should be very ashamed. All that pain taken from the zipper just for you, and you can say he's not your type? If that's how you really feel, then why'd you call last night? You say all I am. Oh, now I see why the girl said he was not his type. He's a Samsung user. I'll bet every time they called, he would drop his phone and the battery would fall out, and he, she got like really annoyed and just left him. I would have done the same thing. What kind of hot topic slug is this? And is it supposed to make him look hotter with the sucker in his mouth? I just now noticed the eyebrows. I feel like staring into his eyebrows would hypnotize me to become a TikTok e-boy like everyone else in my school. Oh, so adults do this too, huh? Come on, they at least have to be better than the kids are. I would at least hope so. See, there's nothing wrong with this one. She's just trying to teach kids how to play ball. You know, I honestly had high hopes for this last one. I was thinking that maybe adults could teach these kids a lesson that lip syncing in front of a camera isn't going to get them anywhere in life, and that you don't have to play Fortnite to be a cool kid. But it looks like it's too late for that now. I, I, I feel hopeless, guys. I, I, I can't make fun of anything anymore. All I can do is just sit here and think about this. Think about how grown-ups failed to show that TikTok is a bad app, or at least try to improve it.